Hello, my name is Stephen Friedrich. I'm a pastor in our mission area at Beautiful Savior Lutheran Church in Amarillo, Texas. In, uh, in Corinthians chapter 8, verses 1 through 9, Paul talks about three different congregations. The church in Jerusalem, who has significant need, the church in Corinth, with great potential, and the church in Macedonia, with a faithful response. As my congregation, Beautiful Savior, participated in the first round of Disciple Life Clusters, we found that our congregation is not 100% like any of those three. Instead, we are like each of them in many ways. So first we wondered, how are we like the church in Jerusalem with significant need? The church in Jerusalem, they were experiencing famine and were in great need. While Beautiful Savior is not starving, we do have significant needs. And one of our most, one of our largest needs is the need for connection. The closest ELCA congregation to us is about two hours away. And here in Amarillo, there are several Missouri Senate congregations and lots of non-denominational megachurches. So it's easy for us to feel isolated, even though we are here in town. So we have great need for the wider church. The second question as we look at, as we reflect, is how are we like the church in Jerusalem with great potential? The church Jerusalem in Jerusalem they, the church in Corinth did have lots of potential. Uh, they just needed to step up. Beautiful Savior, we have great potential because currently we're experiencing some fantastic years with faithful ministry, solid finances, and new people who show up. There's great potential for us to experiment with reaching out to new communities in faith. And there's potential for us to really get to know the neighbors who live in the neighborhood right around our building. Finally, we explored how are we like the church in Macedonia with a faithful response. See, the church in Macedonia, Paul says, gave beyond their ability all of their own idea. Their response, it was faithful and exceedingly generous. The congregation of Beautiful Savior is also going above and beyond with many of the mission outreach projects that are rooted in this congregation. This congregation has staffed a Meals on Wheels route for over 30 years. We have a food pantry, which God used to feed about 2,000 people in, in this past year. The congregation builds ramps every month for people who are in need. The congregation packs snack packs, which is a weekend food bag uh, that feeds 64 kids each week at a local elementary school. The congregation sews pillows and hats and stockings uh, for the local cancer center and for nursing homes. The congregation is also financially generous both in giving to support God's mission through the congregation and through the mission area, as, but as well as through what we call the Helping Hands Fund, which is for anyone who shows up and is in need. Through our participation in the Disciple Life clusters, we were able to reflect on our congregation's disciple life, and we were, we were able to share it with our cluster partners, Trinity Lutheran and Clovis and Faith Lutheran and Spearman. Your congregation can be a part of the Disciple Life Cluster just like we are. Go to ntnl.org today and you can sign up.